Today is part two of my kitchen organize, declutter, clean, refresh. So if you missed part one, absolutely check that out. I did the majority of my kitchen. I did the cabinets. I did some drawers and got that all nice and organized. And now we're going to work on my pantry area, the coffee nook, and we're going to do a little refresh decorating in the kitchen. I'm not going to go too crazy because I will be starting my 4th of July decorating, but I just had some things in mind that I wanted to put in my kitchen that I'm finally going to do now that my kitchen is clean or going to be clean. So if you have not done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little notification bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. After this kitchen organizing series, I am moving to the master bathroom and the master bedroom, and we are going to declutter, organize, and do a total refresh in those rooms. I have a really cool DIY project I'm going to try to attempt in my bedroom, so you definitely want to follow me for that. Then we're going to go ahead and ha head outside to the backyard area to get it ready for summer. I know it's kind of late in the game, but we're getting our roof done and they had to move everything away from the house. So it really did make sense to, <laughs> to, for us to set up our back patio and everything when we would ha have to move it all out anyway. And plus everything's probably going to get a little dusty. So we've been holding out, but it gave me time to do the kitchen and my bedroom. So I'm super excited to do that. Uh, and then I'm also going to show you a DIY, kind of a DIY, not really, but you'll see uh, that we did a problem solve, well, let's call it a problem solving DIY um, of a issue that we had and we solved it, <laughs> I think. So anyways, let's jump right into today's video. Okay, so we are gonna start in the pantry, obviously, and this was a wreck. <laughs> It was so messy. Um, I did have my little handy helper there um, just helping me take everything out. And I'm kind of, sort of, as I'm taking things out, kind of grouping them into, um, like, you know, like products. So canned goods, pastas, snack foods, things like that. That way there's some organization to it. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and clean out both of these cabinets and then I'm going to wipe them both down. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile Where's the happy girl that I know with a heart on? So after I was done cleaning everything out, I went ahead and started filling the bin. So this is Amelia's bin. So I'm just going to go ahead and stock her up with some uh, snacks. And I wanted to make sure she was fully stocked. And you're going to see me add more to her bin in just a little bit. Um, but it is summer. And I don't know about your kids, but mine graze all day. In fact, to kind of eliminate the grazing, I make her pick out four snacks every day and put into a separate snack bin and those are the only snacks she's allowed to have all day of course she has breakfast lunch and dinner but that's just to kind of eliminate the eating all day thing so it's kind of a cool idea if you want to try it then this is charlotte's bin obviously i have her baby foods and snacks and things so i'm just going through and organizing all of the buckets um kind of cleaning everything and just kind of you know just tidying everything up and stocking up everything. 
Real quick, I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to my new YouTube channel, Life with Ash. I do have another channel called Crafts with Ash DIY and Decor. The link will be in the description box below if you want to check that out. That is a lot of DIY content plus decorating, and I'm going to be moving some of those videos over to this channel. But I'm so happy you chose to click on this video today. I truly hope that you love what you see and get some inspiration on how you can organize. I have to say, I am slightly obsessed with how my pantry came out. It looks so sleek. It looks so clean and uniform and, and just organized and I love it. So far we've been doing a really great job of keeping it that way. So let's hope that it will stay that way. But anyways, thank you so much for joining me and I can't wait to show you how this all turned out. Okay, so what I did was group like things together so i have like canned fruits and canned vegetables pasta sauces this is a sad supply um dressings or sauce and then soups and rice and pastas but i think i'm actually going to separate those um okay so as you probably know we do not cook a ton my husband does but the way that we shop is we make a list at the beginning of the week of everything we're going to eat. So, and that's all we buy. Um, I mean, of course, we have like snacks and stuff like that and extras. But um, really, like like I did have more in this pile, but my husband for dinner made pizza. So, he used the pizza sauce. So, and then same with mushrooms and all of, you know, like stuff like that. So, I know this looks pathetic, but... Um, you know, that's just how it is. These were the tubs that I were using, I was using, and they're just not big enough. Um, I mean, they're cute, I like them, but they're just not big enough. So I went to the, I made a Dollar Tree run, and I found these like in the kitchen section, not in the like bin, like storage area. This was, <laughs> this was in the kitchen section in here, Charlotte. Um, I like these cause look how much, uh, well, these are taller, but these are wider so I can fit more. Plus I can cut a label off my Cricut, um, with vinyl and put it in and two of these fit perfectly side by side on one shelf. So I can still use these somewhere else, but I really wanted to go with these. So let's go ahead and put all of these things in their own <laughs> little bin. I did buy extras. Now, as far as the girls' food and snack, these are going to stay. And then I'm going to save one of these for Charlotte's actual like Gerber foods, which you'll see me put in in a minute. So let's let's do that. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Standing on my feet, I'm going to rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. what it's like to be broke i know what it's like when nothing goes your way so i'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day yeah i am on my way up i won't slow down yeah i am on my way up i won't slow down I'm strolling down the street with all of my favorite songs on repeat. I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. And I don't care if you spill coffee on me or if the sky is gray or blue. No, I don't care because I am on my way up. And I won't stop. I won't slow down. Standing on my feet, I'm going to rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. I know what it's like to be broke, yeah. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Okay, so after I had all of the bins organized and everything in the bins that I kind of thought were gonna work, 
I was just playing here. I was just putting the bins where I thought they would be best, but you're going to see me move things around. I'm going to add things, take out things, and I highly suggest doing this before you put labels on anything. That way, if you want to switch out something from a bin, uh, maybe it didn't fit where you wanted it to go or something like that, then you can still do so. So the labels should absolutely be the last thing that you do. So as you can see, I'm kind of just playing around with the placement. And then I totally forgot I wanted to add like these loose snacks like goldfish, pretzels, veggie straws in these little containers. All of my containers, literally every single one came from the Dollar Tree. I did a pantry organization video last year. It is on my other channel. Um, but that's where I, when I bought the majority of these, those white bins that I talked about just a little bit ago. Those were the only things I bought for this pantry makeover. So these were all from last year. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill those. And then I did have kind of a hard time figuring out where this was going to, these were going to go at first, but then you're going to see that I actually found the perfect place for them. So I'm going to go ahead and move things around and just kind of play in this cabinet and the other ones and make sure I like the placement of everything. Yeah, I am on my way. I won't slow down <laughs> Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down So this um, plastic bag organizer here, I actually found it on Facebook Marketplace. I got it for, get this, $15. Normally they go for like 80 something. And in that pantry makeover video from last year, I tried to make a DIY to look like this and it was a complete fail. In fact, I am so embarrassed about it. I can't even believe that I posted it, but I did. Uh, but that's real life for you. <laughs> um, but... Uh, I love it. It is so nice to have. I highly recommend if you can find a good price on one, definitely grab one because, oh my gosh, they it just keeps all of your bags so neat, so organized. They're so easy to just grab and it really eliminates a lot of the boxes and stuff. So, And it really comes in handy because I didn't have an extra door, drawer to put things in, so I had to use one of these shelves and it fits perfectly. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my day. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at blues. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet, I'm going to rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. Okay, so now we're going to jump to the top pantry. And as you can see, this is a hot mess. I just threw literally everything in there. Um, things that maybe I didn't want my six-year-old to have access to that I knew she couldn't reach. Things that I didn't know what to do with. And just, it's like kind of a, it was a junk cabinet, this one and the other one. But as you can see, it's just one big space. And I'm like, gosh, we're wasting so much room. I could really have so much more storage if there is another shelf. But as you can tell, there's no holes on the side, so there is no other shelf. So I decided that I was actually going to create a shelf myself, kind of, and, um, 
and I'm telling you this created so much space so always keep that in mind there's always a solution to everything so what I did was I went to Lowe's and they already had these pre-cut boards which were perfect now this didn't have to be anything fancy it was just gonna go in the pantry so I picked up two of those and this uh, this lovely gentleman here he went ahead and made a few cuts to make them the exact size of my sh of these shelves that are in the pantry now I didn't have a yardstick but I did have a two by four <laughs> so what I did was just use this as a as a yardstick and I just basically lined up where the holes were on the bottom of the pantry and then I handed it to my husband who marked then marked those holes or those marks onto the side of the cabinet I hope this all makes sense and then he went ahead and drilled in some holes Now to hang the shelves, I went ahead and got these little brackets from Amazon. Now they did come with their own screws, so it he just screwed these right into the wall and then he went ahead and put the shelf in and it was easy as that. Here we go, here's our new shelf. Now it does look uneven. Um, <clears throat> my husband states that the board is bowed. I think it's user error, but you know, what ifs. Um, and then here's the other one. Oh, sorry for the wobbly camera. Um, here is the other one. So I am so excited because this is going to help so much with organizing. So. All right. So now it's time to tackle this disaster. And this is all the stuff that maybe I haven't put in yet or I didn't know what to do with or it came out of the top of the pantry. So I'm just kind of showing you an overview of what my kitchen counter looks like. This stuff was all in the top pantry. So obviously I have to go through and I have to organize everything. So again, I'm just kind of cleaning out things. I threw a lot away and then I'm going to start putting things into piles and start to organize like items like I did earlier. Okay, so one thing I did want to mention is as I'm emptying these bins, I'm putting them on the floor, kind of lining them up. And then that way, when I have things separated into different piles, I can go ahead and start loading them in the bins that I think they would work best in. So I don't know about you, but we got stuck with so much candy from like Valentine's Day, Easter, um, parades, things like that. So I went ahead and gathered up all of the candy, all of the treats that we were not going to eat. Um, I even had a can of popcorn from Christmas that I didn't even open. And like I said earlier, at this time we were getting our roof done. So I literally went outside and told the guys, I was like, please take this, please eat it. And they loved it. So I'm just so happy. I was going to donate it to a police department or a fire department anyways. I usually do. But I just love, I just love that I was just able to step right outside. And those guys really appreciated it. And it was funny because all day I would kind of like look out my window and I'd see one of them like sucking on a sucker and, you know, working and stuff. So it was just kind of funny to see like this, these big grown men working on a, you know, roof eating a dum-dum. So, uh, but I loved it. I love that we could actually do something something with all that candy. So now I'm just going to go ahead and quickly go through and organize everything. Now you're going to see that sometimes it takes me a minute to try to figure out the best bin for everything, but I had to do it. I, I mean, this is my time to really um, throw things away, donate things, um, you know, just really thin down on the stuff I was going to put in those pantries. And you are going to be in shock when you see the difference. I mean, literally in shock. So just stay tuned because you're going to want to see it. All right, so now it's finally time to put everything away. So up at the top, I'm kind of putting 
uh, like art things that are messy that I don't really want my six-year-old to have access to. And then at the bottom is just like a cooler, a watermelon tub, some extra plastic things. At the top is my hot glue gun. I do actually end up changing this after I recorded this video, so it doesn't actually look like that anymore. But it still is very functional. The top, I did s'mores. I have some grill items that are actually going to go outside when we set up that area. So those aren't going to be there for long. I'm kind of just putting them off to the side right now. Um, and then that bag right there is kind of my red decor. If you follow me on my other page, you hear me say my I keep my red decor handy because I use it several times a year. Then I have batteries. I have a thing with tools. That's a little baking bin. And that is my secret little candy stash <laughs> that I just hid. All right, next it's finally time for labels. So I went down to my Cricut and I just cut out all of these labels pretty easy peasy. If you don't have a Cricut, that's okay. The Dollar Tree actually sells labels um, like already made uh, that say things or you can just use a permanent marker. You can use stickers. There's so many other options, but I'm just going to quickly go through and put all of the labels on all of my bins. All right, so now that my labels are on, it's finally time for me to restock everything. So on this top shelf, I decided to just do everyday paper products. We use paper plates a lot, especially in the summer. And so I wanted to have those handy and some uh, silverware also, and then uh, my napkins. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put all of my husband's protein powder that he swears he's going to start using again. So I, I can't get rid of it because he will start using it again. So that's where it's gonna go for now. So then in front of that, I'm gonna go ahead and put a snack bin and then Brandon's bin. Underneath, I'm gonna put Charlotte's food. And then underneath that, I'm gonna put Amelia's snacks. Now you're probably wondering where my bin is. I don't get my own bin, but don't let that fool you. I definitely steal snacks out of everybody's bin. <laughs> so mommy doesn't get her own, but you did see my little hidden stash of candy up top. So I do have that. Now down at the bottom, I am gonna put the crock pot and I actually decided to switch out what I kept my paper towels and napkins in because the other bin was just a little too small and it was smushing everything. So this is actually a laundry basket from the Dollar Tree and this worked out perfectly and it fit perfectly too. Then this shelf was the only shelf that that big container of cereal could fit in so I just stuck it underneath there. She's not really a cereal person so that's all we have. Next on the other side, we have the canned fruit and vegetables, soup, mac and cheese, sauces. Moving down, we're gonna do the miscellaneous stuff, then flour and sugar. Now here comes my uh, plastic baggies and then all of um, like wax paper, parchment paper, aluminum foil, things like that. Then at the bottom, I just put extra uh, storage containers just in case I needed it. And then I'm also going to put my oil and vinegar and the air fryer, and that's it. That completes the pantry. 
I am slightly obsessed with how amazing this looks and like I said it just looks so uniform and organized. What do you think of my new pantry? Okay, so now we're going to move down to the coffee bar, and this is a hot mess as well. So this is where all the teas, the sugar, the syrups, um, cinnamon, coffee cups, travel mugs, uh, water bottles, this is where all this lives. So this needed a good cleaning. Now this did not actually take me long to do, and I guess it's as organized as it's going to get. You'll see what I end up doing, but it did make a big difference as well. So I wanted to show this little hack. <laughs> Sorry if you hear Charlotte. So I didn't like that when I put this coffee nook um, against the wall, it wouldn't go flush against the wall. I didn't like the gap. So I just simply cut... <laughs> I know it looks terrible, but no one would ever see it. I just simply cut a hole in the back where the outlet is. And then look, it pokes through. So then that way, like, do you see what I mean? <laughs> Sorry, this is a really awkward angle, but I'm also trying to describe it. So yeah, so I just cut a hole and then it was very rigid or jagged or whatever. So I just put some duct tape and it's been fine. I've had this. This was, the coffee bar was one of the first things I set up when um, I moved in, December 2nd, 2021, and it's been fine. So, um, yeah, and it's great because, like I said, then then you don't have this, the actual coffee bar popping out from the wall. So you can push it all the way back against the wall. So, little life hack for you. Okay, so after it was all cleaned out, now I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down really well. Um, you know, I had like sugar that fell and cinnamon and just crumbs and stuff. Now I decided to use these wire baskets from the, well I guess that they're not wire, they're plastic, but from the Dollar Tree to put all of my tumblers in. And like I said, for now it works. I think it's good enough. I would like to actually invest in some good organizers um, for that, but I'm, that's just going to have to wait. So now this is like leftover K-cups, like chocolate, hot chocolate, decaf, um, cappuccinos, chai lattes, things that we don't use a lot, but I like to keep in case guests want it. And then this is my sugar and my tea. And then this is all like the seasonal candies that I use. This is all stuff that I had left over that actually go on the coffee bar. And instead of throwing it out, it's still good. So I'm just going to keep it. All right, now I'm also going to load in some of my Ray Dunn pieces that I do use as decor. You're going to kind of see me play with this as well. Now, the top shelf is really the only place those syrups can go because they stick out so far. So, yeah, I just kind of played with this until I got the placement. It still looks very cluttered, but it's at least neater than what it was before. So, hey, I'm okay with it. So I really did not like how those tea boxes were looking. So I actually decided to empty 
um, those boxes and put them into like one of those little plastic containers, which you'll see here in a second. And that really freed up a lot of space. So I know people like kind of judge people that take things out of containers and just to put them in another container, but just look how much sleeker and cleaner it looks after I do this and after I take it all out and then I and then I totally eliminated all of those boxes so that really freed up a lot of space so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that back in the coffee nook and that's it my coffee nook looks so much better Into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind. But I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile Where's the happy girl that I know with a heart on? Okay, so now that we've organized the pantry, the coffee nook, I just want to do a little refresh in here. Um, kind of decorating, not too much because I will be decorating for the 4th of July. And uh, I'm not going to go crazy for the 4th of July this year. I did last year. Um, but I'm going to tone, I'm going to bring it back just a little bit um, because I am kind of late in the game decorating. But uh, one thing that I really, really wanted to decide or do is we have my daughter's formula and cereal out on the counter. And of course, the boxes or containers are not pretty. So I wanted pretty decor. The problem was I could not decide on what I wanted. I found three sets that I think are so super cute, but I don't but there's some like a pro like there's pros and cons to each. Okay, so this first set is from Hobby Lobby. I love the dimples um in it. I am more of a dark wood girl, and so I don't know if I love this. Um, and I know that sounds weird, but then um one of these would fit a thing, a formula, and one of these would fit her cereal, so the size is good. But is it like I don't know. Is it like too much? I don't know. Is it too heavy? So this is set number one. This is set number two. Um, these came from Pop Shelf. Now, the thing with this is I think as it gets towards the bottom, it's going to be hard to scoop out. So that's my issue with this. Plus, they're clear. Um, and I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I liked them because of this. It was kind of more summery. And this set is clearly all year round. Now, of course, her cereal and her formula are not going to last forever. So I can always use these somewhere else, too, once I'm done with them. But I, I don't know. I think I'm automatically ruling these out. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, but this is number two. These are my absolute favorite. They have the dark wood, um, but they have this really pretty detailing. These came from Amazon in a set of two. And I was just kind of playing around and I have this and they fit perfectly on here, which I thought was so pretty. 
Now, of course, these are smaller, so they're not going to fit a whole container of formula, a whole container of cereal, maybe the cereal, but definitely not the formula. So I'd have to keep um, refilling it. I don't, I'm so torn. I love these. Now, I did also get this. The other one broke. <laughs> it totally broke. But... So, okay, so that's three, and then there would have been two of those, which is four, but um, I'm definitely going to keep this. This came from Pop Shelf. It was $8, but I am keeping this because it is just so, I just love it. I can clearly use it anywhere. I think I might stain the top to be a little darker because, like I said, I like that darker wood, but I don't, I don't know. Okay, so it's between these two. So it's, like I said, there's pros and cons to both, so it's these two, Okay. Or it's these two. Those are the sets. I don't know what to do. I'm so torn. Then I kind of thought I have this tray over here. And I thought, well, if I use these smaller ones, I can kind of decorate them on the tray over there. And then get them off my countertop completely. Uh, I can't. I hate making decisions like this. Okay. I'm gonna set these here. I'm just gonna stare at them. <laughs> no, I'm going to move around to other parts of the kitchen and see what we can come up with. Like I said, I'm only doing little touches for now because I am gonna be getting my um, 4th of July stuff out. So this is not gonna to be too crazy, but let's go ahead and just kind of decorate around the kitchen a little bit. Okay, I think a decision was made here. <laughs> I think I'm not going to keep the cereal out because the cereal I only use once a day. The formula we're always using. So I think I'm going to put the formula in here. It's part of decor, but it's functional. And then I can return all of these and get a ton of money back. Oh my gosh, yes, I am loving that. And then it's not taking up counter space. And then it doesn't matter what color scoop, because I want to keep the same scoop because, you know, you have to measure out the formula. So, yes. Okay, I'm going to live with this for like a few seconds, <laughs> a few minutes, and then I'm going to decide for sure. Spoiler alert, I decided to go with that one. <laughs> After all that and all the debating, the answer was sitting there right in front of me the entire time. So I went ahead and cleaned this out, wiped it out really good so that when I put the formula in, it didn't actually turn into milk because <laughs> uh, the container was wet. And look what I just did. Oh my gosh. See, I told you I leave these real life moments in there to let you know that everyone has them. You are not alone. <laughs> Okay, so one, so this container fits, this is 21.5 ounces, so this container fits a whole container of that. I don't know that it would fit a whole container of this, but I do have a little bit left, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there. Now, I know I'm switching up formulas, but there really isn't any specific kind, and her pediatrician said to just get what was available, because I'm sure you all know there was a formula shortage so um I'm just using and then look I can still use the scoop this is a really tiny scoop but I can still use that scoop oh my gosh I'm loving this I am loving this let me kind of clean this off you saw the big disaster I just had and formula ain't cheap so I'm like save the formula okay all right let's put it over there look at it's decor, it's functional, it's cute, and it was only eight bucks. Oh my gosh. 
freaking in love. And then that'll just stay there. That'll just stay there until we don't need formula anymore. Okay, so I have some dishes to tidy up here, but also another thing I want to do is switch out my soap dispensers. These are empty. I purposely have not been filling them. Okay, I think I'm going to go with these ones, especially because we're coming into um, 4th of July. I thought blue would be pretty. And then these are my bottle brushes. I'm going to keep those there. Then I do need to refill the hand thing and then I'm actually just going to put this away because I'm not going to end up using it. Okay, so something else I really wanted to do was have a family calendar. I don't know if you can see it. I got this for $5. It was $5 at five below. I love it because it's the acrylic, so it's not going to stick out like a sore thumb. But I just thought it would be perfect to put right here. And I think I might put like a shopping list here or something. But you can see down here, I already put my daughter's tour list for the summer. So... I think I want to put it right here, but I could not believe it. And it comes with a pen. Now I'm not seeing screws. Let's open it. I'm not seeing screws or anything. So I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to <clears throat> attach it. I might have to go hunting for screws. Okay. But here it, it is. Now it's not magnetic or anything. So, But I think I might just use the marker from down here. But yeah, I just thought it was perfect because it's good enough. It shows, you know, it, it's good enough for five bucks, you know, because I was going to buy the acrylic and make it on my Cricut. But by the time I did all of that, first of all, a plain acrylic board would be way more than five dollars. So I think this is good. Um, now I just got to figure out how the heck to hang this thing. OK, so I think what we decided to do um because I don't know why I didn't come with stuff to hang it. And we could be dumb here. I don't know. And you guys are probably yelling at the TV like, this is how you do it. But we actually are going to take these out, which is fine. Because then it won't stick out so much from the thing, the cabinet. So we're going to take these out. And then I'm going to use two-way tape. And I'm going to just put it up there. Um, and then I am going to use tacks. and <clears throat> Like pretty tacks. You'll see, just to put over these. That way, um, it looks a little nicer. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And yeah, then I can use my new board. I am really loving this calendar, and hey, for $5, you can't beat it. I mean, like I said, I was going to make this, but the acrylic board alone would have been probably triple, if not quadruple that price. So and then I would have had to take my own time and use my vinyl and, you know, do all that. I love how it's white. I know you're like, why did you just put white on white? But I didn't want it to stick out like a sore thumb. So I'm glad it's white. Now, if I had to do this over again, I probably would not have used those clear things um, to hang it up. You can see that some of the black paint got on there, so it kind of made it look a little dirty. I don't know. I might go back and fix that, but uh, for now, this is how it's going to be. So then I went through and just kind of put in uh, all of the special days. Now, we're already halfway through, more than halfway through June, so I just did the last part of June, and then starting, obviously, in July, I'll fill it out again. 
So then after that part was done, it was time to just add some finishing touches all over my kitchen and make it look pretty. All right, well with that, this completes my kitchen. It is just very simple, because like I said, I am gonna add some 4th of July touches, so I didn't really go crazy. I just wanted it to look clean and organized and, you know, decorative. Um, but I really love all of the changes I made to the pantry and the coffee bar and the little decor touches. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you got a lot of inspiration and ideas on how you can organize an area in your home, especially your pantry. Let me know down in the comments what you think of my pantry organization and coffee bar. And hey, if you love this video, definitely click on this one because I bet you love that one as well. And don't forget to click my picture to subscribe. I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers on my new channel, this one, as fast as I can. So you'd really be helping me out. Also, if you loved what you saw, give this video a thumbs up because it truly will help my channel to grow. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching. And that completes A Day in the Life with Ash. Bye.